Nope. No issues. Get another perk. To start this turn, uh, at the start of your turn, if he's leading, draw a card. Starts the game with two courage. Start each battle with a storyteller. Storyteller is probably another unit. Let's go bravery. We need a lot of starting energy to pull off what I want to do. All right. We have found. Hello? What? That's... That sucks. Ripes. Okay. This one hurts. Okay. Well, at least I got some options. Burn that. And then I can't swap them again. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. The difficulty curve in this game is wonks. It's not. It's not possible. It's just incredibly mean. Okay. Whammo that guy. We're getting there. We can make it work. But... Boy, howdy. It really wants me to die. Okay, so I'm gonna just... Wang him with a dagger. That way we don't have to worry about him. Who's that guy? Gain Harrier. Discard, defend. Discard that guy. It won't let me get rid of Dagger Boy. Oh. Good to know. So apparently you can only have... You can only have one of each individualized pet. So that's not quite as cool as I was hoping it would be. And I mean, it does help. It, it gets us that scale, that early scale faster, assuming I can get it out. I mean, I can get it cheap enough to get it out. Okay. We ain't doing anything to me, so I guess we're just gonna hit him. That'll do it. Okay. There we go. I want to get that treasure back. I mean, for obvious reasons. Seven gold. How is this asshole? Okay. I was just holding on to this for you. Here you go. Alright. Oh. Gain a brush. Start of each start each chapter with another brush. That's well. 
a little late for that to be useful, but okay. Feel that we get another alchemist. You know, in retrospect, that might be really useful. Because you know what I have that I absolutely do not want or need? Fire Breath hits everybody. Gain a block, draw a card, or more damage. Hitting everybody would be tempting. I think I want the Mighty Ruby. Oh! I do both. Okay. Oh! I see how that works. Clearly, I need to be using the uh, transmutation a lot more often. Oh, no. Hit him with the dagger. Let's roll Ogre Soup. Lose Clash. I think we'll be fine. Strike. Strike. Kickflip. There we go. And we don't take any damage. I'm... Well, that's annoying. Lunge. Dagger. If I do... A thousand cuts. Fire oil. It goes away. They take a bit of damage. We get a high five. And then I guard. And my mooks should kill the bomb. Of course the bomb would actually hit the bomb crafter. Bomb slinger. Yep, that's... That's his name. I am somehow incredibly not surprised by this turn of events. All right, let's get the Firebringer out. Switch him. I'm just gonna have to keep wailing on the bombs. At least I get to wail on the bomber boy a little bit. All right, bomb is gone. I think I've got more time than I'm I'm assuming that I have, but in the interest of extreme panic, let's not risk it. Okay. Bring up the pet firebringer. Swap them. Pop the harrier, burn the defend. Dagger to that guy. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. We take one damage from this. Okay, now I don't have any other daggers. Doesn't really have anything else. Buckle up, I guess. I five. 
huddle. I guess I'll just hit the guy in the back. He's gonna hit me with another ball mani. Does he just summon endless bomb? Ah, uh, 50 damage. Boy, that's just the rudest. And there is uh, nothing I can do about it. Well, I guess I'm just going to hit him a bunch. And we're just going to Mountain Fist. At least the next bomb doesn't blow up in my face. But this one does, and this is, this is going to hurt. Yeah, luckily, we'll get there. Okay. Whale on that. Hit him a bunch. There he goes. That was fun. Dang, bombs. You hurt. Okay. We get a doubling ink. Actually really useful. We get a gem. Pierce through for half damage to the next enemy, which is actually really nice. Who do we put that on? I'm gonna do that on Thousand Cuts. I'd potentially do it on... Um, on Flatten. As well. Alright, so we got some turtles. We got some turtles, we got some stuff. Let's take a look at this. First time damage is taken each turn, gain 30 block. Well, that... Alright. <sighs> sure. Think twice. Th thousand cuts... is fine, actually. Okay, never mind. That's rude. Buckle up. Free Clash. Hit him. They're gonna hit me for a bunch. Let's just do Mountain Fist. Would have liked to do Ogre Soup. But I think given the situation, tanking is preferable. Boy, why do these turtles hurt so bad? Speaking of, I don't have any defensive anythings. I'm, I've got a little bit. Pet Firebringer. Kind of works. Pet Firebringer again. Swap them. And then we wait. Firebringer scales. Oof. Okay, switch. Dagger to you. Kick flip to you. Defend. Guard. I five. Clash. Strike. Burn that guy. Him has some weird bugs. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot get rid of the outlaw. It always gets rid of the gargoyle first for reasons. It is what it is. Bammo. Fire, oil, boost her. Switch. Get him with a dagger. Get him with a strike. 
Splatten. We've got plenty of defense, so we don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. There he goes. Oh no! Did we hurt them? <sighs> Did we hurt them? Please give me hearts. Thank you. Hey, I need. I'm not bleeding anymore. Whenever the equipped hero. Ooh. Admittedly, getting to that is super not feasible. Okay, let's see what else we got. Riches, random ge gems are healed to full. Random gems. We get a mighty ruby and a mighty ruby. Oh. That's useful to know. Okay. So unfortunately, the Mighty Ruby is way less cool than I was hoping it would be. <sighs> yep, no free slots. I'm gonna do that. If we get lucky and we get another gem, I'll be in a good spot. Let's um just make Clash do more damage. I use it a lot. Alright. Then for better or worse, let's do this. Oh, you're a spooky fella. Think twice. Dagger. Defend. Buckle up. Pet firebird. Other pet firebird. All right, that's about as good of a start as I'm gonna get, and we get plenty of defense. Okay, so it looks like this guy summons Frendos. Could be worse. Huddle. Defend. Dagger gets me a bit more. Kick flip. And fire oil on her. Gets me a little bit more. Nothing to worry about. Plenty of block. We might actually be okay on this one. Especially because we started with our uh, Firebringer on the first round. Okay. Hit him. Double edge. Okay, maybe I should be hitting those guys. Defend. Flash. Not that it matters. As long as it's not the Firebird, we're okay. Let's see what these guys can do. Still sleeping. Apparently. A lot of damage from him, though. Right. Delete him. I think I'm going to do... Clash... I-5. Mountain Fist. 
guard. I would like to take less damage, but you know what? Oof. This boyo scales. Double edge. Dagger. Thousand cuts. This gonna work. Cause that just hits the front guy. That's not enough. That sucks. I... Okay. At least we kill it on the next turn. Like, the bleed's just gonna finish it off. Bad wounds. I should have had her tank the hit in retrospect. Oh, wait, no, I think either and both of them would have died. Okay. Oh, we didn't get a rush off of that one. Okay, pile of gold. I'm gonna get the mace. Now, who do we want to put that on? I'm actually going to put it on him. Alright, let's go back to the shop. I could transmute a card, but let's see if there's anything useful in him. We are very much in a bad way. Attacks also damage adjacent enemies. Nah. Let's leave. I'd like maybe some of those, but let's... Let's go to the... Alchemist. She's still got a strike. Do quick strike. Oh, that's just attack for four. I was hoping that was attack four times for zero, but that that doesn't make any sense. So let's go for a high five with a block. These are boring. That is nice. I don't have to. So combo game block. Or high five. Like I'm gonna try and uh, scale my courage. Barrage. There's another one up here. Oh, but I don't have the money. Let's see what I could have gotten. Never mind, I'm too poor. Well, let's hope for the best. I am in a bad spot. That said, we get a little bit of the meta progression, so that's kind of helps. Ouch! All right. Think twice. Dagger. Defend. Needles. Oh, that sucks. All right. Kick flip for some damage. Get him with the bleed. 
slash huddle, and we'll just take a strike. He's gonna hit for 24. So, I can burn one of the needles. So he caps out at 10 damage per hit. Oh god. I mean, maybe I'll be fine, but... I-5. Puts her in front. At least it still gets him with the bleed. I wonder if that overrides it. Okay. Let's just block. I've got it a one-seventh of the way down. I'm just worried that this guy scales. Ah. Yeah, that, that'd do it. Alright, pet fire bringer. Switch mob. Give me a dagger. Give me a double edge. Gets me a dagger back. Right. That at least gets him with the weaken. And then we're going to do double needles just to get them out of the way. Yeah, this guy attacks via hand blow. Oh, and he increases his power too. Man, what the hey? Okay. Plus side, I can get rid of a needle. For now. Not that it matters. Okay, so he's going to hit for more damage than I think I have health. I'm going to switch. Dagger. Because that's 40 damage. I, I think I'm dead. Nope, didn't die yet. Okay, so Barrage is cheaper. Switch up. Sucker Punch. I-5. Buckle up. Barrage, which weakens him down. Hell yeah. Go for the lunge. And yeah, that weaken is going to be incredibly important. I think we're donked, though. I don't think I'm getting through this one. Okay, well, I don't have too much here. So let's... Let's see. I guess that's Thousand Needles. And kick flip him. Buckle up. Defend. Keep burning them needles. And then we wait. Yep, he only takes 10 damage from my pet Firebringer. I hate this. I hate Monarch of Blades. An absolute trash move. Ogre soup on her. Discard... That. At least we take his armor off. Anyway, time for him to kill him. There he goes. 
Mm, good stuff. Well, time for me to do no damage to him. I got him halfway down. If we had a better... If we had more health or a better defensive scale, maybe I could have done something. But, uh, you can't kill me. I killed me. Oh, wait, what? That's confusing. I still lose. Well. Let's see what level 2 does for her. Because I think this is going to be the big part here. Lead. Attack for 8. Increase damage by 3 for every ally you control. Whenever this hero attacks this turn, gain 3 block. Yeah, that would do it. I will say, it does feel like this might be overtuned, but I think the real answer on that one is actually just because uh, I need to do more of the meta progression. And also, it's early access. <sighs> it mixed feelings on how I want to react to this one a little bit, because it's like... I like me some deck builders, I don't like me some meta progression that involves grinding. I prefer the ones where it unlocks cards. Flip side, we almost killed the boss on my second run ever during early access when not everything is available, when I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just kind of flailing and just like a bunch of other stuff. So ultimately, I'll give myself some credit and say, I actually did all right. I think I'm going to go for mineral identification, and then I think I'm going to stop. I like this game, but I feel like if I play too much of this demo, I'm actually going to... I'm not going to say grow to hate it, but I'm going to get tired of it because it really does feel like I'm supposed to play a whole bunch of this uh, later in the final version of the game, whenever that's going to be. Uh, let me let me double check the Steam page. I they're, They've kept this game well under wraps, so there's a very real possibility there's like no information on it. Ah, June 24th, 2021. And it doesn't look like they're going to be launching it in early access. It looks like it's just a full launch, which actually is huge. I love me some early access, but they tend to be a little bit of a drag. So I think we'll be back then, and then we'll have the whole talent tree. Personally, to some degree, I kind of hope they make it a little faster. Uh, grinding, I made, I got 13 of these little story bits on a single run, where I almost won. I'd have to do three runs just to increase unique strikes by one level. I, this absolutely feels like the kind of game that I personally would probably just hack in infinite numbers of these little story pages, max out the tree, and then just go full ham on the final game without any of the grinding. And I, I think I personally will always have a bit of a knee-jerk reaction against seeing something like this, because... I love the idea of a big talent tree like this, but you know that that is kind of the difficulty curve. That you get your butt kicked and let, until you've grinded enough pages to be able to overcome everything, and then the game either becomes cakewalk or cakewalk until you decide to crank up the difficulty in some way, shape, or form. Which is good, but I, I, I it just feels like whenever I see a meta progression like this, I, I know the game is going to be inherently unbalanced in a way that is maybe not the most fun. And so I hope they take another look at it and maybe retool it a little bit uh, and really ask, like, do you really need a perk that, you know, gives you an additional treasure, an additional gem? I personally wish instead that they had a bunch of different perks that you could pick, but you can only bring two with you per run. And then they leveled out the difficulty curve so you don't have to balance around the fact that players at maximum tier with maximum upgrades... Uh, are just inherently going to be stronger than new players that have not grinded out all of the perk tree. Because I, I much would I would much prefer... Uh, it's kind of like in Binding of Isaac when you unlock every character's unique starting item. You know, at first Isaac is boring, but then you get the D6 and the whole game opens up to you. I wish this had something like that instead. Because, I don't know, I, I just can't help but feel like a lot of these upgrades are mildly meaningless. Honestly, actually, the really cool thing would be maybe even put the perk tree in the middle of the run 
And so you level up really quick. You get a lot of these perks, but you can't fill out the entire tree. I don't know. I'm spitballing ideas here. This is something I need to do like a big video on, on how to make meta progression good. Uh, but there's too many different ways to do it, and I don't have the best idea. So actually, uh, for this video at least, if you guys want to uh, suggest some random ideas, I might even do a community post on, like, best games with meta progression in it. Because I don't want to homogenize how meta progression is handled, but I do want developers to think about it uh, instead of just slapping it in. And maybe this will work out. I don't know. I, I can't pass judgment to, until I've seen the full and final version. Uh, but I guess until then, I don't know. I, it's just, it is, it is something that has been stuck in, stuck in my head for a while. And so this became the convenient straw man for me to talk about just for a moment. So, like I said, at the very beginning of this, Rogue Book will be available as a demo for the next couple of days uh, as part of the Steam Winter Games Festival. So if you want to try this out yourselves and actually potentially beat the final boss, uh, give it a try. It's pretty fun, despite my gripes. And uh, it'll be out on June 24th, uh, so I guess I will see you all then. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.